What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be doing another car versus car video. Today's contenders are the Lamborghini Huracan Performante versus the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR. So before we start the video, I know these two cars aren't meant to go head to head necessarily, but I thought it would be fun to take a look at each car respectively and see how they would fare against one another. So to start out, let's take a look at the Huracan Performante. The Huracan has a 5.2 liter V10 that puts out over 630 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. This propels the car to a top speed upwards of 202 miles per hour and from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, but many believe this is a conservative time and the real time is actually closer to 2.5 seconds. The Performante weighs just 3,350 pounds and breaks from 60 to 0 in just 93 feet. The quarter mile time for the Performante is 10.4 seconds at 134.5 miles per hour. It's also worth noting that the Performante set a 6 minute and 52 second lap time at the Nürburgring, setting the lap record for the track. The Performante will also set you back about $270,000 if you wish to purchase one. Now switching over to the AMG GTR, the GTR is powered by a 4 liter twin turbo V8 that puts out 577 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque which propels the car to a top speed of 212 miles an hour and from 0 to 60 in just 2.8 seconds. The AMG GTR weighs in at 3,668 pounds and runs a quarter mile time of 11.4 seconds at 127.6 miles per hour. The car will decelerate from 62 to 0 in just 96 feet and set a lap time of 7 minutes 10 seconds at the Nürburgring. Owning one of these will set you back anywhere from $160,000 up to $195,000. Now that we've listed all the specs, let's take a quick listen to each of these cars' beautiful exhaust notes. Now, obviously there is a fairly substantial price difference between these two cars, with the Performante being the best Lamborghini has to offer at the moment, with the most exquisite materials being used in the interior, and the stunning Lamborghini design, and the amount of speed it has on the track. Being able to take the crown away from a hypercar at the Nürburgring is a pretty big deal, and honestly one of its best selling points. But that's not to say that the AMG TR is a bad car either. It's just like any other Mercedes, making it easy to hop in and go, and allows you to know you're never going to have reliability issues, and the interior also has no expense spared in its design, but it also gives you a feeling very different from almost any other car, in the sense that the cockpit is directly over the rear wheels, and you have this huge hood out in front of you, and the car just wants to go and have fun, and in its own way is a beast on the track, just like the Performante is. Really, the choice comes down to what do you prefer, the styling and the all-out ferocity of the Performante or a little bit more laid back and reliable AMG GTR. There really is nothing that makes one car better than the other, it really just comes down to personal preference. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please click that thumbs up button and if you're not already please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and catch all of our new content.